Hello, once again, you are welcome. I am Robin Sinegwa. This is brought to you by Robin Tech Electric. And in this section, I will be explaining to you common fault associating with stabilizers. And if you find out any other problem you want to share, you can share it. And once again, our link is right below. Click on the WhatsApp group to join. In this course, I will be in this section, I will be telling you when you experience a blown out fuse or your breaker like this is tripping off. It's instantly you own it. Just know that something is wrong with the board. Like as I said, 2000 watts and below have switch and fuse switch and fuse then at from 3000 watts they carries breakers so one thing you have to look at when you are experiencing an instant blow nut fuse is to look for the biggest capacitor and the board in this one this is the biggest capacitor here and this is another second to big one no meaning is power pack all these ones are normal small ones but this is the big one which tells you that this is the power section this diode them you are see leads to this stuff so once again, this diode leads to this, this one leads to this. You can do the tracing at the back, you will see it. I've already done my tracing. Now, some of them, if you look at it, the capacitor has a swollen top, or oh, the top is already blown out. Just know that the diode here, one or two of them is reading continuity, or is reading tending to continuity, meaning it's reading zero, it's not reading exactly the way diode is supposed to read. So once you need to do, replace the diode. If you have a faulty capacitor, replace the faulty capacitor. And another thing you will ask to do again is, if it still persists, look for the relay that is faulty. Use your 12 volts power pack, trigger the relay that is faulty and change that relay. And that is the end of the class. Thank you for watching.